We are taking members of 42 departments and combining them into a single center with 500 members and 115 faculty who love everything about the microbial world. Collaborate, teach together, educate together, bring world-renowned speakers in the most fundamentally integrative and synergistic ways we can imagine. A microbiome research right now is incredibly exciting because it allows us to understand really sensitive aspects of animal health and environmental health and how that relates to human health. Whether we want it or not, we are intimately associated with microbes. And so really understanding how those microbes are affecting our overall physiology is critical to improvements in biomedical sciences. The Microbiome Center is really a community for us to leverage our research and leverage our knowledge into interdisciplinary teams and interdisciplinary questions. It's a great moment in time because there's the awareness and there's the tools that are being developed so we can really tackle those type of questions that we haven't been able to do until now. There are 80 plus microbiome centers across the world. Many of them focus in one particular area, humans, agriculture, or environment. What Penn State has done in the last decade is build up a gigantic resource of people and infrastructure that enable us to tackle each one of those components with our microbiome experts. We are focused on building and training experts in the microbial base of the biosphere across yeah. ecosystems. What that means is human health, environmental health, and agricultural health are dependent all on microbiomes that live in those particular areas. But also that each one can exchange microbes with the other, that microbes can flow through these different ecosystems in a networked and interlinked way. And so the One Health Microbiome Center recognizes the dependency of the microbes and these ecosystems on each other and their interlinked network that might shape the risk of health and disease outcomes. From this broad perspective of the center, we're able to collectively group people who may not have interacted because they're in different departments, but are working on similar questions in diverse systems. We have people in animal science, we have people in computer science, we have people in arts and architecture, we have plant pathologists, we have people in the medical professions all working together with similar kinds of goals to use the microbiome sciences to ask rigorous questions about the systems we work in. For example, we run the Ancient DNA Lab here on campus and we can do our work there. We can then walk it over to an anthropology lab. We can then walk it over to a metaproteomics lab and see the ancient proteins that are inside. We can then have the DNA sequenced at a different facility on campus. We can reach out to our biostatistician and computational colleagues and understand how to analyze the data. We just go on and on and on, but it's all right here on campus. And so we have all those tools here, but the Microbiome Center brings everybody together and puts everybody really in conversation with each other and then they're providing a lot of resources, grants, funding, and just to bring these collaborations together and really elevate the science. The thing I'm most excited about right now is the Microbiome Sciences Dual Title Degree Program. It is a degree that is really set out to allow students to study whatever their main interest is, whether it's arts and architecture, to plant pathology, to entomology, to ecology, but to do it in a microbiome context. And it's the first degree of its kind worldwide, and we're really excited about the kinds of students that we'll attract, I'm sure we'll attract people who are able to make connections. I've been really fortunate to get a chance to work with the Penn State Microbiome Center. I've had opportunities to attend a lot of the workshops and talks and meet and hear from scientists from around the world talking about their research and the unique ideas that they bring to the table. And this is really helping build a foundation for my own research to be robust so that when I present my research to the community, it makes sense and is applicable to a bunch of different fields. I'm really excited about the Microbiome Center just because of the connections it's made for me. As a PhD student, right, you're trying to form your committee who's going to guide your dissertation. So I picked different people from the Microbiome Center that could guide different aspects to help me not only on the farms with thinking about experimental design, but in the lab and how I process my samples and get high quality DNA extractions. Just being in the Microbiome Center and working with all these different collaborators has really elevated my research. 
So we live in a microbial world, and through Penn State researchers here at the One Health Microbiome Center, we aim to empower educators across the world with the skills and the expertise needed to do similar research in their classroom. So we translate all of our laboratory protocols that we're doing here in the labs into curriculum that can be implemented in the classroom. Everyone is willing to lift each other up to take the vision to the next step. I think there is no other place, for me at least, better than Penn State to be able to do that. I really have collaborators that truly care, so we're excited about the science. We're also excited about each other. I think that's probably the best part is the people in the Microbiome Center because they just provide so many resources, just them. It's not even about grants or lab equipment or anything like that. It's the knowledge that we all collectively share. If you need any sort of expertise on campus, it's here. <laughs>